darlings, it is I, Erin, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're creating a jellyfish look. To start, we're going to put some purples into the crease I'm using the Morphe 35C palette. I use that for most of the colors in this look, as well as a bunch of different brushes. This is an H&M crease brush. Next, we're going to use the Sigma E40 brush to blend everything out. Then with a pencil brush from Morphe, we're going to go in with that darker purple color and start creating the shape of the jellyfish on our eyes. We're going to repeat this process on the lower eyelash line as well. I didn't show that in the video, but just see that I'm doing the exact same steps on the top and the bottom. Then we're going to go in with a small brush from Morphe and go ahead and trace that same shape out with a black eyeshadow. That's also from the 35C palette and then again blend that with our Sigma tapered blending brush. Once you get the eyes done, they should look like that. And then we're going to trace over everything with a cream gel liner that swerved from ColourPop. We're also going to use Dare from ColourPop to add a little bit more dimension. And there we popped on the bottom of the eyes as well. Now we're going to go ahead and do our base. That's going to be the Urban Decay All Nighter in shade 0 0.5, powdered with our Cody Airspun powder on a big icing powder brush. Make sure everything is nicely powdered so it will be easy to blend the colors that we're going to use. Using the 35C palette from Morphe again, we're going into those three blue-green shades and we're using Claire's Synthetic Blush Brush just to kind of trace out and lay down where we're going to put the color. Now we're going to take a dense Morphe brush and go ahead and start deepening that contour. We're going to start with the darkest blue shade. Then with the second darkest blue shade, it's like a blue-green, we're going to go ahead and create that gradient of color. Now we're going in with that dark blue shade again and just making sure to reinstate where we want those shadows to be. Now we're going to go ahead and take that face paint down the neck a little bit just to create more of a cohesive look. Now 
Now we're going to go in with a black eyeshadow on a thin eyeshadow brush and really reinstate those contours on the cheeks. Make sure the face is shaped exactly how we want it. Now we're going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in Vivid Violet and create the tentacles of our jellyfish. We're also going to outline our jellyfish eyes. Now, to make some finishing touches, we're going to use some highlighters including the NYX Illuminating Duo Chromatic highlighter in Lavender Steel, and of course, Jeffree Star's Skin Frost in Mint Condition. To finish this look, of course, we want it to do a blue eyebrow, so I'm using Teaspoon from Live Crime on an H&M spoolie and just brushing that through my eyebrow hairs to make them nice and light blue. And there you have it. That's the finished look. I really had a fun time creating this. I hope you enjoy these creative sort of looks that I've been doing. I'm super enjoying them and I'm sure there will be more to come. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!